It says, hey Seb, I know we've had many discussions about O.J. Simpson's guilt. I want to revisit this topic. So mentions the glove and the racial discrimination. Molly my bean. Molly my bean. All right, welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we are going to be building a AI email application. And this time I'm actually gonna, you know, walk you through the code and how to actually create one of these things on your own because in the last video, I kind of just demonstrated an app instead of actually building it out. So this time we'll kind of show the more in-depth process of actually making the thing. And uh, speaking of the last video, I would appreciate it if everyone would stop, you know, commenting racial epithets or you know threats of violence against me you know it's just uh it's just a programming video so you know no reason to bring up my nationality or anything okay so here i've outlined the structure of the project so we're going to be using the gmail api to get access to a user's inbox and their sent emails in order to read those emails and get an idea of the user's writing style. And then we're going to use the Gmail API to get access in order to send emails out as well. So we're gonna be basically writing something that can read and write emails. And we're gonna use the OpenAI GPT to write the emails themselves and then send them through the Gmail API with Python. Okay, so the first thing you kind of have to do is set up the Gmail API, and this is actually pretty annoying. So what you basically have to do is create a Google Cloud application and then set all that stuff up to get an API key, and then you'll have like a little project here, and it's pretty annoying, so I'm not going to do it again, but you can... Uh, find an easy tutorial or just ask GPT how to do that. Okay, so in the project I've already created, make sure the Gmail API is one of the APIs that is enabled. Okay, so to give yourself access to your own Gmail API, you're gonna go into credentials and find this OAuth client IDs, and then you're gonna create a client ID for a desktop application, which means you can access the Gmail API from your computer without having to use a browser or anything. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is go right here and download the client, which will give you a JSON file. Okay, and that is all we need to access the Gmail API from our computer. So what we're gonna do is create a new project. We're gonna call it email openai python. Then we're going to open that up in VS Code. And we're going to CD into that and create the first file. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is just connect to the Gmail client. And the first thing we wanna do is read messages. So I'm gonna create a file called um, read emails, okay go into that and then from here we're gonna want to do is well first we move in the JSON that we downloaded the client secrets in it okay and then um, we want to install the simple Gmail library okay so first thing we're gonna do is just test out the Gmail API so we're gonna do from simple gmail import gmail okay and then we are going to call the gmail instance like this and do python read emails and it says here file not found client secret.json is non-existent so apparently we have to change the name of this file to just client secret JSON. And from there, you should be able to authenticate your account and allow your application to use whatever uh, code you send it. From there, we're actually going to take a look at the documentation for simple Gmail, the Python package that 
Sky put together in order to easily interact with the Gmail API because without this package is actually pretty annoying. Okay, so um, there's some sending messages which we're going to do later. Let's see something for reading messages. Okay, retrieving messages here. So basically there's all these things we can do with um, constructing a query to get a filter on the types of emails we want. So we're going to call that and then get some query parameters and basically get the messages that match those query parameters. So that's what we're going to do here. And okay, so in this example, we have these labels, which we don't really need. And then unread, we also don't need. And then for the time, we want to restrict this to a certain amount of time because we don't want to get every single email that I've ever sent. So we're going to do in terms of years, we're actually going to try to get some emails from high school. So we're going to do older than four years and newer than six years. Okay. And we're going to get sent messages just like that. And then for message in messages, we're just going to print the message. And I mean, there's a lot of different parameters we can print. We're going to do something like this. So copy this whole loop here. So for message and messages, we're going to print out recipient, sender, subject date, snippet, and the message body, which we can actually skip for now because sometimes there won't be a message body. So we're going to deal with that in a second, but let's go ahead and try to read these emails. Okay. So it took a couple seconds, but now we have all of the emails printed out and we have these well, previews, date sent from to subject. So I just want to give the AI an idea of what I kind of write like. So let's create a file called emails samples.txt. And then once we get an email, we're actually just going to write the little message body to this text file. So we're going to use Python and Python is great for this because it has the with open email samples dot txt read actually no we're going to write to the file or actually append um, if we want to do this again so we do this as f so if we open the file as f and then we simply write if message dot plain we are going to write the plain message to the file. And we actually maybe want to make sure that, you know, the message isn't too long. So we're going to see if the length is less than a thousand. We can write it to the file just in case we sent some insane email that we don't want in our possession. So let's go to the text file and see what starts happening. Okay. So yeah, a lot of these are just like, you know, sent like a, maybe I sent like an image or something and it says created with the scanner app. So that's not what we want. But yeah, these are, you know, clearly from high school, like 2018. Here's um, maybe an example right here. So what actually I want to do is open this up in TextMate. This is one of my favorite text editors. So I'm going to put a sample in here. This doesn't see, hi, Mrs. Satchwell, sorry for the late response. I forgot to send an hour, an email earlier. All right, so here's another one and it doesn't have a name on it. So let's just put in a random thing. Hi, Professor Melton. So this is all we kind of need, just two samples of emails. And we're gonna just keep that open for later. Okay, 